Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be retesting old makeup in my collection. Now my collection isn't like super huge. I am in college, makeup is expensive, but I do take pride in what I do get and collect and I like to use most of the stuff in my collection. However, there is always some makeup that just finds its way to the back for some reason. So I'm going to be retesting out those makeup products on my face today to see why I put them there or, or to find new love for the product. So if you wanna see that, then just keep watching. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my hair up like I always do. Okay, so we're gonna start off with primer today. This is the, the Bare Minerals Primetime Primer. So I picked this product up on Black Friday, actually, they were having a sale, and I had run out of my Becca Backlight Priming Filter, and I was not in the financial state to repurchase another one, but this was on sale for $10. So I was like, you know what? I need to try new primers anyway. I can stick with the same primer, and I think this was pore filling. So I already primed my face the way I usually do. I put my Smashbox primer water on, and then my Formula 10.0.6 Thirst No More, just to give everything a fair shot. So let's just apply this thing. So it's going to be silicone -y and pore filling, which I tend to stick away from because I have dry skin. But you know, this doesn't feel necessarily like mattifying or anything. It's just feels kind of greasy actually. So I'm focusing this on the areas where I have pretty bad pores, which is my T-zone. <laughs> and then I'm just blending everything out with my hand. <laughs> While my face feels smooth, if that's any consolation, it doesn't necessarily look like it filled in any of my pores. I still see them pretty largely over here and over here. So I'm not exactly sure what the claims are for this. It's just a primer. Let's just move on to foundation. I am taking this. This is the Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum Foundation. I picked this up because of Kathleen Lights. She had raved about it in her earlier videos. And when I was in London, this is a drugstore brand, I guess in the UK or in Europe, because they had a whole like section of this. And I was like, you know what? While I'm here, I'm gonna pick up this foundation. I've heard Kathleen talk about it. And this is in the shade um, 51 Vanilla, which is the lightest shade. And I'm pretty sure the reason I stopped using this is because it's too dark. Put a pump or two onto my hand and I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna take this eco tool sponge and just blend it into the skin. First I'm gonna dot it and kind of start to to blend it in with my finger. Yeah already I can tell it's way too dark for my skin so maybe that's why I forgot about it. I remember I used this last summer but I was a bit tanner then but it does give a nice healthy glow to the skin. I would say this is a a light coverage foundation all of my redness is still peeking through and my freckles and my acne is still there but it looks really fresh and dewy so that is a plus I'm just gonna drag this down my neck a little bit since it's so not my skin color Okay, so this is what the foundation looks like. I do really love how it looks. I love light coverage foundations in the summer. It is so dewy. It's a gel foundation, so it just really sinks into the skin. It doesn't look like it's sitting on top of the skin at all. I love the coverage on this. Maybe when I get a little bit tanner, I will use this over the summer. I just really, I love how it looks. <laughs> Alright, next we're going to move into concealer. I already know this concealer is way too light, and it's probably why I don't use it. But this is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in the shade C1. They have a really great shade range on these, and I heard it was a dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape, which I just don't feel like spending $27 on a concealer, because I think there are so many better drugstore options. So I picked this one up to kind of dupe it. Put a little bit of this on our chin and down the nose. Again, I'm going to like load this up on my nose and just let it sit there for a bit, because the foundation was so light coverage. I need coverage on my nose, so I'm going to look a little crazy for a little bit. I'm just going to put this underneath my eyes, and also I'm going to use this as eye primer. This is a pretty full coverage concealer. I'd say medium to full coverage. It looks really nice. Alright, so this is what my face looks like with foundation and concealer. It just looks very dewy. I think it looks really, really, really nice. Okay, I do have a powder today that I have forgotten about. This is the this is the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in the shade Fair. I actually mentioned this in uh, a favorites video, I think in January, it was a while ago. And I kind of and I kind of forgot about this product because I started using my Cover Effects Perfect Setting Powder because I bought that one a long time ago and I was afraid it was gonna expire. 
I don't know if powders expire, but I, I really got back into that and I just want to use up the powder. Okay, so my face is all set. I still look white as a ghost on camera. I'm sorry about that. I like the powder. I will say the concealer creased so quickly underneath my eyes and on my eyelids. I had to go back and blend them out a few different times before I set it. But I think it looks really nice. I don't know why I stop using products like this. I just get into like a groove with products that I really, really like in the moment. And I forget about them and that's like not good. Okay, so I'm going to do the face first before I move into the eyes so I can zoom you guys in for my eyes. The first product I'm using is bronzer and this is the Benefit Hula Bronzer. Um, I got this a while ago and I picked it up because I heard everyone raving about the Benefit Hula. But I looked in the... I got the mini size because I wasn't sure. It looks really orange to me over here. So I think I used it once or twice again in the winter when I wasn't so tan. Not that I'm very tan now. And I just didn't like the way it looked, so... Well, I like that. I picked up a little bit amount of product and it blended out really nicely. I'm afraid to pick up too much bronzer. Ooh, I put it all over there. Oh my god. See, this is what I'm talking about here. I don't know if you guys can see it. It looks really orange. And I know a lot of people who love this bronzer, so it's like... It's a preference thing. I tend to stick toward cooler tone bronzers. I don't know, I just feel like they look better on my skin tone. All right, let's move on to blush. Now, this is a product, I have multiple shades of this, but I don't use this shade anymore. So this is the Tarte Blush in the shade Celebrated. This is a very like warm tone, peachy. I used to be very into peachy blushes when I first started. Um, and I just don't like the way they look on my skin now. I'm very into neutral blushes now. It looks nice though, actually, actually I'm not too mad about my face. Alright, we're going to move on to highlighter now. This is from a Tarte palette. This is the Don't Be Afraid to Dazzle palette. I'm sorry, it's like blinding. Um, it has a cool toned bronzer and then this highlight shade. So I'm just going to pick this up with a Morphe M433 brush. Because the Tarte highlighters are a drier formula, I like to use a dense brush like this to apply them. Oh, this is so pretty. I think that looks so nice. It... Wow. Oh, that is so nice. All right, I'm going to zoom you in and we'll do eyebrows and eyes and then I'll come back to the full face for the lipstick. All right, so let's do the eyes. The eyes, I actually do have a Tarte palette as well. This is the uh, Rainforest of the Sea Volume 2 palette and it just looks like this. I got this in a BoxyCharm a while ago and I did use it pretty heavily because as you can see here, like, I dug into this. I really liked it, but the shadows are very weird because they're not like a typical, if I remember correctly, they're not a typical Tarte shadow. I have to like, kind of like dig my brush in a little bit like this to pick up pigment. And I guess I just got annoyed with the fact that I couldn't get the pigmentation I wanted from these shadows. So I did put it away for a while. This is the shade Marina that I'm dipping into. With and then I'm just going into the shade Seaside, which is this shade here. It's the slightly darker shade. I'm just going to pack this on the outer corner. I'm going to do a very simple eye look today. Mmm. See, this is what I'm talking about. Now I'm going to kind of dig my brush into it and see how I get it. It's a weird formula. And it's like, the more you di like dip into the colors, it gets like this cast over it. I don't know if you can see, you can. It gets like this weird kind of cast over it. And it, it just makes the product harder to use, which is weird. Alright, these are those two shades. I'm going to dip in very lightly into Siren, which is this shade right here. I'm gonna highlight my brow bone. I haven't done my brows yet with this shade conch, like a conch shell. Okay, so I'm going to use either the shade breezy or the shade riptide. I think I'm gonna use breezy. It's like a gray, but like a taupey gray. No, I'm just applying this to my lid with my finger. As always, I'm just gonna go back in with that Luxie brush and just blend out the edges here. That's really pretty. So those are the eyes. I actually do have an eyeliner. <laughs> I um, never use an eyeliner really, but this is the M Cosmetics felt tip liner and I got this at Gen Beauty. I don't typically wear wing liner. I can't do it. I think it looks bad on me, but I'm going to do it for this video, so just wish me luck. I did a wing. I did it. <laughs> I gotta say, this liner is so easy to use. I loved this. I loved this when I first got it. I like put on a wing liner because of it and it really is just so easy to apply. It looks so nice. Okay, I tried. This is as good a wing liner as it gets. It's definitely not the best thing I've ever done with my life. Not very good at wing liner. I feel like they never look equal. But 
I did it for you guys. Anyway, so we're gonna ignore that, but I do really like this, and I think I'm gonna continue to try to do wing liner so it could look more like this, and it's like this. And now I'm just gonna go into eyebrows. Um, I do have two products I don't really use. This is the Bum Ferocious Brow product. I got this in the shade Soft Brown, or Light Brown, sorry. This is the Pixie Eyebrow Gel Pencil. Um, I got this at Gen Beauty as well. I bought the Balm one as soon as it came out because it is at my local pharmacy um, where I work. And I liked it, and then I stopped using it, and I have not picked it up since, and I don't, I don't remember why. So we're going to figure it out today. I'm going to first take my, my Balm, my The Balm one. And since it has a spoolie, I'm going to run it through my brow hairs. I always do my brows, like, second to last on my whole face, and I don't know why. So I'm just going to kind of run this through my brows. I feel like this is very waxy. Okay, I guess, I guess my issue with this is it's way too waxy, and I don't like it. I actually think I'll be passing that on. Um, I feel like my eyebrow hairs are just 100% wax at this point. I hate that it doesn't have a spoolie. I guess if you have like nice, full, luscious brows, it wouldn't be the worst product in the world for you. Because actually on this eyebrow, it looks pretty nice. But I don't have eyebrow hairs on my other eyebrow. So it just looks like a hot, hot mess, at least to me. So I'm going to go in with the Balm pencil. Alright, that's how the brows are going to look today. I don't hate this product. I don't know why I don't use it more often. I think I'm going to also put this one in my everyday makeup drawer. So now I'm just going to take my Tarte Man Eater. I don't have a mascara that I forgot about. I only open one mascara or two at a time because I like to use them up. Okay, so most of the face is finished. This is how the eyes look completely done. I might keep the palette because I love this gray shade. I don't know what it is. It looks so mm, beautiful. Oh, I'm in love with it. All right, I'm going to finish off with lips. This is the Balm Cosmetics Meet Matte Hues. This is in the shade Trustworthy. Um, I remember loving these. This was actually the first liquid lipstick I've ever, I ever bought, actually. Um, I remember loving these when I first got them. But they became really patchy really quickly. I feel like they're just not opaque enough for me. Okay, this is the finished look. I don't like these. They're just not pigmented enough. Like, I still feel like it's really patchy over here. And it applies just really funky. I don't, I don't like it at all. So, out of all the products that I tried today, I think I will be trying out that primer again. It looks really nice. It didn't pill up like a lot of these um, pore filling primers do. And I really liked that. I will be trying out the blush again. I actually really like the blush. Definitely the highlight. I think I'm going to try the bronzer again. Um, the Ferocious Eyebrow Pencil I'm going to try out more. And this palette. I'm going to try to get back into it. Everything else I'm going to say I would leave. I liked the concealer at first, but now I feel like it looks dry and cracky. And I don't like that, especially underneath my eyes. So uh, that completes this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will be uploading regularly again. Um, this will go up on Monday, and then I'll have another video for Friday, and yeah, and I'll see you in my next video.